Did you know that close to 1 billion people are affected by mental health disorders? And did you know that inflammation in the gut is a significant driver of depression, anxiety, OCD, autism, ADHD, Alzheimer's, schizophrenia, and bipolar disorder? Research from top institutions proves that when your gut is unhealthy and inflamed, your brain is unhealthy and inflamed. That means that depression mostly stems from issues in your body, not your head. So, if repairing your gut can lead to improvements in brain health, mood, memory, focus, and overall mental health, why are over 50 million people prescribed mental health medications each year in the United States alone? Well, it's a profitable industry. In 2020, antidepressants alone accounted for $13.8 billion in pharmaceutical sales and is expected to rise over 7% by 2027. Today, we'll discuss the critical role that your gut microbiome plays in your mental health, so you'll have the knowledge and power to improve your life naturally. First, I'll talk about the importance of your gut microbiome. Then, I'll discuss the gut-brain connection. I'll also share a shocking tidbit about your gut health that pertains to anyone who is in a committed relationship. Let's get started. What is the gut microbiome? First of all, you might be wondering where the gut is actually located in your body. The gut refers to the entire gastrointestinal tract, including the stomach, small intestine, and large intestine, where digestion and absorption of nutrients occur. The gut plays a crucial role in immune function, with a large portion of your body's immune cells residing in the gut lining. Emerging research suggests that the gut microbiome, composed of trillions of bacteria and other microorganisms, influences various aspects of health, including metabolism, immune function, and even mood regulation. Therefore, the gut serves as a central hub for numerous physiological processes, underscoring its importance in maintaining overall well-being. A healthy gut consists of high microbial diversity. Think of it as having a thriving rainforest of healthy little bugs in your gut, leading to more short-chain fatty acids like butyrate and acetate, feeding and strengthening intestinal cells. This diversity prevents various issues and inflammation throughout your body. These fatty acids can also cross the blood-brain barrier, reducing inflammation in the brain specifically. On the other hand, think of poor gut health like having a monocrop. The less microbial diversity you have, the more inflammation you'll have in the brain, and therefore, the more likely you are to suffer from various mental health disorders, like the ones described in the beginning of this video. Gut dysfunction is not the only cause of our mental health crisis, but it's a major factor that is often overlooked. While some mental health patients have chemical imbalances in their brains that can't be cured through their diets, most of them can. Astonishingly, conventional medicine views these two things as completely separate and unrelated. But here at Health Strides, we follow the functional medicine doctors, who conclude that the gut and brain are intimately connected, and that the health of one directly and significantly impacts the other. While this topic is largely ignored by conventional medicine, it's gaining attention in places like Harvard's Department of Nutritional Psychiatry. 
So how do you heal your gut? Functional medicine doctors are increasingly treating patients' mental health through fixing their diets. If you make an effort to treat your gut issues by eating probiotic-rich foods like yogurt, kimchi, sauerkraut, and kombucha, it's highly likely that your mental health and energy levels will also improve. While it seems like magic, it's really just science. Before I dive in to the gut-brain connection, here's some science to back up these claims. A notable 2019 study published in the Journal of Neuroscience Research found that gut inflammation is associated with increased anxiety-like behavior in mice. Similarly, research published in the Journal of Psychiatric Research demonstrated that individuals with Irritable Bowel Syndrome IBS, have a significantly higher risk of developing anxiety and depression. These findings shed light on the importance of addressing gut inflammation to alleviate mental health symptoms. The gut microbiome plays a pivotal role in regulating neurotransmitter levels which are essential for mood regulation. Research published in the journal Nutritional Neuroscience suggests that certain probiotic strains like the ones found in yogurt can positively impact mood by modulating neurotransmitter production. And lastly, a study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences of the United States of America PNAS, demonstrated that gut microbiota composition influences brain function and behavior. These studies provide compelling evidence of the bi-directional communication between the gut and the brain. Gut-Brain Connection Now you may be wondering, what does this bi-directional communication between the gut and the brain entail? It's pretty simple, actually. The connection between the gut and the brain works both ways, indicating that addressing one without the other is insufficient. Extensive research involving thousands of patients consistently reinforces this concept with ongoing data expansion. Functional psychiatrists such as Chris Palmer and integrative psychiatrists increasingly observe this phenomenon. There's this thing in our bodies called the vagus nerve, which acts as a two-way highway connecting the brain and the gut, spanning the entire gastrointestinal tract. Through constant signal exchange, alterations in the gut can influence brain activity. Individuals with Irritable Bowel Syndrome IBS, often face increased susceptibility to anxiety, depression, and suicidal thoughts. While previously believed that anxiety triggered IBS, the current understanding points to the reverse relationship. Alterations in the gut microbiome and inflammation can lead to brain irritability. With 500 million neurons, the gut surpasses the brain's count by fivefold and significantly influences involuntary sensory and motor functions through the parasympathetic nervous system. This system governs appetite and hormonal regulation, affecting feelings of hunger and fullness. Hormones and short-chain fatty acids play a crucial role in appetite control and regulate communication between the gut and the brain via the vagus nerve. Understanding these pathways is key to devising strategies that enhance both gut and mental well-being. The second brain, or enteric nervous system, consists of nearly 500 million neurons embedded in the gastrointestinal tract lining, alongside hormonal cells called enteroendocrine cells. These cells sense various signals such as nutrients, taste, mechanical stimuli, 
and microbes, playing a crucial role in gut function. Operating independently but in coordination with the central nervous system via the vagus nerve, it regulates gut motility, enzyme secretion, hormone release, appetite, and blood flow for digestion and nutrient absorption. The microbiome, comprising around 100 trillion microbes and 5,000 species, interacts with both the enteric and central nervous systems, influencing digestion, vitamin production, hormone regulation, and toxin elimination. The gut microbiome composition varies based on diet, lifestyle, stress, toxins, and genetics, with ongoing research aiming to understand its role in health and disease. Remarkably, a significant portion of molecules in the bloodstream vital for bodily functions, including brain health and mood regulation, originate from the gut microbiome. While there is still much to learn, the gut microbiome can produce healing metabolites that support gut and immune system health, underscoring its importance in overall well-being. Other functions include certain bacteria that help increase GABA things, like lactobacillus, which is often found in kombucha and bifidobacterium, for example. Now this is really amazing! These compounds produced by bacteria can actually affect the brain, not just the gut, so there's a two-way street. You can change your gut microbiome and consequently change your mood and your stress levels. Or, you can change your stress levels, as a result, change your mood and gut microbiome. Think about how powerful that is. You can change your brain by changing your gut. And you can change your gut by changing your brain. It's really empowering. And it's a really hopeful message for anyone struggling with any mental health issue related to mood or brain health. Think of the gut as sort of the epicenter of these things. When we start to think about how to fix it, we can really transform our health. Now, what I'm about to tell you will sound unbelievable, but it's true. Research examined the impact of unhealthy relationships on gut health, revealing that individuals experiencing poor communication and heightened marital stress harbored higher levels of detrimental gut bacteria. Consequently, these individuals exhibited increased production of lipopolysaccharides, leading to heightened inflammation and a greater likelihood of experiencing various physical health and mental health challenges. Given these findings, it's imperative to prioritize healthy relationships to safeguard both physical and mental well-being. So what does all this mean for you on a day-to-day -day basis to keep your gut, brain and relationships happy? It's simple. You want to have a high microbial diversity in your gut, meaning a large amount of species. Here are some recommendations to help you create your own healthy rainforest in your gut. Drink kombucha, kefir, or other probiotic drinks. Eat sauerkraut, kimchi, or any other cabbage dishes pickles, and even some cheeses. These fermented foods are fantastic for the gut. A favorite of this channel is colostrum, but that's a topic for its own upcoming video. Prebiotic and probiotic supplements should work, but try to get as much of it as you can from your food. In part 2 of this topic, we'll talk more specifically about how the gut can help to either prevent physical chronic diseases or exacerbate them. 
Please help us get the word out about functional medicine and the power of food as medicine by subscribing. If you need any further clarification or have any questions about what was discussed, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Stay well, my friends.